fait pardon, part de mon engagement à lutter contre la corruption et l'impunité. Je voudrais faire observer à ceux qui semblent douter de la sincérité de mon engagement à la matière que jamais les prisons du Niger, sous aucun régime depuis notre indépendance en 1960, n'ont autant compter de cadres de l'État privé de leur liberté pour fait de corruption ou de détournement. Mohamed Bazoum is a Nigerian politician who served as the 10th president of Niger from 2021 to 2023. He assumed office in April 2021 after winning the 2020-2021 presidential election and a failed coup d'état attempt. He was ousted in the 2023 Nigerian coup d'état by members of the presidential guard and the armed forces led by Abdrahmani Tishiani. Before becoming president, he served as the president of the Nigerian Party for Democracy and Socialism, PNDS. He also served in as a minister of foreign affairs from 1995 to 1996 and again from 2011 to 2016. He was minister of state of, uh, at the presidency briefly in 2016 and was later appointed minister of state for the interior between 2016 until his election as president in 2021. When he resigned to focus on running for the 2021 presidential election, Bazoum won the second round of the presidential elections with 55.67% of the vote against the former president Mohamane Osimane. Bazoum, a member of the Arab minority, Oled Slimane people, is the first Arab president of Niger in the country's history. Mahamane Bazoum was born in 1960 in the village of Bila Brin, French Niger, in the present present-day Difa region of Niger. He was raised in the town of Tesca, 200 kilometers west of Bilabrin in Zinda region. Bazoum is a member of the Uled Slimane people, Barbara's tribe originally from the Fezan region of Libya, who constitute a small minority within both Niger and the larger Nigerian Arab population. Bazoum attended primary school in Gole and graduated from Amadou Kolan Daga High School in Zinda. He studied philosophy in the Faculty of Letters and Human Sciences Philosophy Department at Sheikh Anta Diop University. Following the completion of his degrees, Bazoum taught at several pro uh, provincial high schools for six years. He also joined the National Union of Teachers of Niger, a national trade union. Bazoum then joined the executive committee of the Trade Union of Workers in Niger, which he represented at the 1991 National Conference. Bazoum is married to Hadiza Mabrouk Bazoum, who became First Lady of Niger. They have four children, including a son, Salim, and several daughters. As a high-ranking member of the Nigerian government, Bazoum was named the successor of Isofu as the presidential candidate for the PNDS in the 2020-2021 Nigerian general election. Bazoum's presidential campaign focused on ideas such as resolving demographic problems within Niger by limiting family size and increasing literacy and gender equality through more education for girls. Bazoum has also promised to target the ICC insurgency in Niger, assisting the neighboring country of Mali in the process, reinforce Nigerian defense and security, and tackle corruption in the country. Bazoum did not win the first round of the election held on 27th December 2021, obtaining only 39.30% of the vote. However, he won the runoff election in February 2021 with 55.67% of the vote and was sworn in as president on 2nd April, his victory being confirmed on 21st March.
In December 2022, Brazil was appointed current president of the West African Economic and Monetary Union. During the 23rd Ordinary Summit of Heads of State and Government of the Organization in Abidjani. On 26th July 2023, soldiers of the Presidential Guard commanded by General Abdurrahmane Tishiani blockaded the Presidential Palace to depose Bazoum. The coup was condemned by the African Union and Economic Community of West African State, ECOWAS. ECOWAS told the plotters to free Bazoum immediately. Bazoum was later deposed at the end of the day with Colonel Major Amadou Abdramani going on state television to claim that the president had been removed from power and was being replaced by a military junta calling itself the National Council for the Safeguard of the Homeland, whose leadership was claimed by General Tishiani on 28th July. Sources close to Brazum said that he had decided on Tishiani's dismissal at the cabinet meeting prior to the coup on 24th July as their relations had reportedly become strained. In his address to the nation, Tishiani accused Bazoum of trying to cover up for the country's political, social, economic and security problems. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.